Hey guys, how you doing? JP Sauri Kolia here. New year, new pre-order from Prime One Studio. And in this case, it's for the Lords, part of the Lord of the Rings franchise. And it looks great. So we're going to look at it today. That's the reason I'm here at the website. I will have the link in the description for those who are interested. And there are two different versions of this piece, the regular version and the exclusive version. We're going to look at the exclusive version. Now, there's no edition size yet. The price for this is $949. This is a one for scale piece. You can choose a payment plan up to 10 payments. You have to pay the first deposit. And of course, you pay the shipping at the time of delivery. Uh, the estimate arrival for this is between April and July of 2022. We're going to read the description before we get into the pictures. Brown One Studio is proud to present the latest addition to the Premium Masterline series, one for scale lords from the epic fantasy adventure film series the lore of the rings uruk highs are already some of the strongest and most brutal warriors of middle earth however lords is the first leader of the uruk high scouts created specifically for this film he was the first of saruman's uruk highs to be bred uh, choking the first orc he sees to death within seconds of his birth. He became Saruman's second in command and led the first battalion of Uruk High into battle against the Fellowship of the Ring at Aemon Hen. Uh, Lord stands about 24 inches tall, holding his bow ready to shoot, representing a memorable scene of Boromir protecting the Fellowship of the Ring. This statue not only grabs your attention, but also gives you the story of one of the most brutal warriors in the entire Lord of the Rings franchise. We have crafted this uh, show-stopping statue with the utmost attention to detail and concept design to bring you the most movie-accurate Lurts statue on the market. Excellent addition to your collection and must have for Lord of the Rings fans around the world. So the specification, you get a one Lord of the Rings design team base, one switchable pair of arms holding the sword and shield, exclusive version only. Now we see the 360 video here. That's pretty cool. The format, again, is premium masterline. So it's a one for scale piece. The product size approximately is 58.9 centimeters in height. 38.4 centimeters in width the depth is 40.5 centimeters this is with uh, when holding the bow and when holding the sword the, the height is 58.8 centimeters the width is 38.4 centimeters the depth is 43 centimeters the product weight approximately is 12.2 kilograms it's made out of polystone and other materials all right and now we're looking at the pictures and i'm telling you this piece looks fantastic uh it is gruesome but it's a really nice representation of this character. Now, this was hinted uh, some time ago. It's been probably months. And uh, with everything else they have for the Lord of the Rings. And finally, it's going on pre-order. So I know people are excited for it because a lot of people were happy with it from the get-go. And of course, you're going to find people that are going to point out some discrepancies here and there according to perception. It's always about perception uh, based on the experience with the film. So the stories they know, the, the, you know, the information that they gather. And I'm not going to refute that uh, in for me as a person that knows this from the surface. I, it looks just like in the film. So I have no problem with it. Now you can see the exclusive parts with this one. The regular comes with a bow. The exclusive parts is when he's carrying the sword and the shield. And I, I'm telling you the in this case, exclusive is the way to go because you get the extra parts, which is good. Here are the switch outs and I love the paint job. Now, the Uruk High is definitely a very good piece. I already talked about it here on the channel. But I'm telling you, I think, I wouldn't say one is better than the other one. But in my opinion, if you want to have the full display, you have to have the Uruk High and you have to have the leader. So, in this case, it's a no-brainer. You need to get Lurts. Really like the base. The back of the piece. It is really cool. And I love the fact that they add this to the background. Really cool. This is one of the, the coolest scenes in the whole movie franchise, in my opinion. This battle. And Prime One has done a terrific job in representing this character. Here we have the dimensions. Really cool. I really don't see anything that you could add to this piece or take away from this piece. I really like it. This guy looks to be massive. And if you go by the dimensions, he's definitely big. And the one for scale. Love the details on the back of the wall. All that. This is a tree branch that is cut in half. That's pretty cool detail right there. Really like it. Really like the tone and the colors and everything. Really nice job. 
the texture on the clothing, all that. His face, the paint job is really accurate. It's really cool. Man, different pictures. Scary face for sure. Really, really nice with the bow. This is a nice picture right here. Definitely, this is a cool piece. Man, he has strong arms too. When I was looking at this last night, I was looking at it. I was thinking, man, he looks stocky, but it was just an impression. I was just looking through my phone. But now that I'm actually looking at my computer screen, it looks great. I don't see any problems with it. The dimensions seem fine. Really cool. That sword has been through hell and back for sure. A lot of blood. And I really like that. That's the one thing about this collectibles by, uh, by Prime 1 Studio for the Lord of the Rings. They're not afraid to showcase the blood, you know, and the, the gore. And they do that with almost every piece that they create. Um... Of course, these are these are for mature audiences. This is the type of statue that might not, if you have small children, might really be scary for them. But for adult collectors, which in, in the end, all these pieces are for adult collectors. You know, children are not going to collect this. Uh, first, because of the price tag, and second, because of course it's not intended for them. And it can be scary looking at this guy in front of you for sure. Look at that. The arrows, really cool. The detail with the the feet, the ground. It's a lot of detail there for sure. But it's well done. Yeah, I really like this piece. I'm telling you, um, I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh the paint job is really good. I love the even the tone in the hair. There's like highlights of brown, so it's not completely black. That's a nice job right there from the painters. Uh, I'm telling you, Prime 1 has fantastic painters. I have never really seen a prototype that I dislike with the paint. Every, and I've been talking about Prime 1 Studio for quite some time and a lot of the pieces, but I never really have anything to complain about the paint job. I may complain about some, uh, you know, choices uh, for the engineering of the piece, but beyond that, the paint job is always on point. It's spectacular. Here's more detail. Oh, look at this. I didn't see this before. Now it's pretty cool. Love the vines, the, the roots all over the stone. Wow, there's more detail. I didn't notice that before. On the base, really cool. Even moss. You can come back here. Moss on the ground, really cool. Nice paint job for sure. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is a really nice piece. Um, I'm impressed. I'm always impressed with Prime 1 Studio. But I think um, you know what they're doing with this collection, with the Lord of the Rings collection, is fantastic. Uh, every piece they have, you know, some pieces more than others are, you know, more impressive than others, but for the most part, everything they have done is impressive. And I feel that they becoming the standard for the Lord of the Rings. And a lot of fans are really excited to see what they're doing with this franchise. Um, you know, it, it, it goes beyond what Weta was doing with smaller pieces, one six scale pieces. This is something on another level, uh, for the one for scale collector. And that's good. So yeah, this is a recommendation for me. I like the price. I think it's fair for the one for scale, particularly coming from Prime One Studio. And uh, I don't see anything to complain about. I don't know what you think about it. So let me know in the comments below. So once again, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. And I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.